Good morning guys, welcome to the video number 281 and uh, my name is Ajay, I am going to talk about today, uh, going to educate you about the the scope of the variables in the Excel VBA, the life of a variable, right? So we have the different different categories in the variables and uh, trust me guys, um, if you are new to the VBA or maybe if you are uh, somebody, you know, who actually uh, is on the intermediate level, this video is must for you because we use every VBA code as, you know, uh, we always use the variables. You, whatever program you make, right, we always actually have the necessity of using the variables and knowing their life cycle, knowing their scope is very important to us right so let's start this uh, video uh, this amazing video i'm gonna tell you about um, all the things that uh, what all things you you are supposed to take care of when you declare the variables and uh, so for those who are watching the channel for the first time uh, we have uploaded 200 and you know um, so many videos as you can see 208 actually 80 videos as on data and all the videos are on excel excel vba access and access vba just scroll it down and you would see here you know different different playlist and according to that you can pick up your subject and you can get the training right so in this this video is dedicated to this excel vb introduction series where as you can see guys i have already uploaded five videos and this is absolutely for the basic uh, you know the beginners who, who have just started or maybe who know the vba uh, they, they they copy and paste the codes from the google or maybe you know they like you know you guys watch the videos and then you uh, just directly type in but you don't have that good you know knowledge of the vba so please go ahead and watch these videos first right all the very basic level of the videos now in this video guys we are going to cover the three things i'm going to talk about the variables as i said the local variable public variable and the global variable there are the three different different types of the variables and this is very important right uh, so let let us first discuss the local variable now what is a local variable now variable actually means that you know you can store any information you can reuse it so you have to declare some name you have to tell your VBA that I'm going to have this name. Let it be I, J, K, L, M or my, my, well, anything you can declare it, right? So that variable is going to hold some position. Now, for example, let me start this, uh, a simple macro and, uh, let's say, uh, we're going to name it as A. Okay. So in this variable, now in this macro, I'm going to declare I as integer. Okay. Let's say, and I say I equals to five okay and i say j equals to 10 let's say this is what i'm saying and k equals to i plus j right and uh, obviously we have to declare our uh, dim j as well integer and uh, dim uh, k as integer right now if i run this program you know what will happen we will have the 10 plus 5 getting added here as simple as that right so uh, let me do one thing let me go to the uh, you know the basically to this uh, window uh, increase the size of the text so that you can have a good view so let me just make it to 12 yeah so now this is the macro now guys uh, what is the local variable now local variable means that when i run this program you see okay go to the view and on the local window okay i have talked about this local window in that playlist which i was talking about introduction to the vba right so go ahead and watch that in this this is a local window which we use to have a look on all the variables your present variables actually in the vba right now you see that the moment i run this macro immediately i and j i i j k and you know they are coming here they are popping up here i actually did not do anything i just on my local window so what does that mean now when i run these all things you see they are active you have i5 you have j10 k as 15 so they are visible here but the moment i run this end cell which means the macro is going to finish see what happens they are going to be destroyed right so local variables are those variables which remains uh, till the time your macro is running once your macro is finished they are completely destroyed and the vba will remove the free the you know your memory you know your space from the hard disk right because they take a little space as per your data type i have talked about this in in the another video where you know i have talked about the specifically the data types what are what are the different different data types so you can go ahead and watch those videos but in this video we are more concerned we are more focused on the life of the variable so this is called the local variable right now another example i can give you for example i write here sub b another macro i'm writing here right let's say this is my macro okay now what we actually want to do here is let me give some space and uh, in this macro uh, let us declare one uh, variable called r as integer okay and uh, one more variable 
we can declare so let's say let me declare here uh, k as not k actually maybe let's say z as integer i can declare them in one line as well i hope you know about it you don't have to declare the dim word again and again to avoid the space that's the only purpose okay so now what we do is i say that i r, r is equals to 10 and then i'm saying that r plus k so we want to have a sum of the z we want to have the sum of the r and the k the two values right so k actually i want to use this k in this subroutine how is it possible right so i'm going to call my this function the macro call b right so what happens when you're going to have the values in the i and the j and the k and this line is going to be executed your macro will will come here right it will come in the sub b and then it will read all these lines and we would like to have the answer called 10 plus 15 which is you know coming from this macro so i'm going to call the you know one macro from the another macro but the purpose of that is that i want to show you that if you want to use this k if you want to carry forward your variable value in the another macro then what are the actually what is the method of that right so when you run this macro you see that i and j k are highlighted because they are the part of this macro right so i'm going to run them and uh, we have the all the values the things are going perfect 5 10 15 the moment i run this call b you know it will go in the sub b the moment it goes in the sub b it finds the error and the error is very you know obvious it says that variable not defined right now you know that because this k is actually a local variable so it does not exist outside this macro this sub which is called a so for the b sub b if you want to use it you have to declare it again right but the point is if you declare here within the macro b then again k will be treated as empty it's a new variable i actually wanted to use this 15 here so what is the how how we can do that so guys you have to change the scope of the variable you have to change uh, you have to change it to the public variable because right now k is actually a local variable now how are we going to do that let me reset the code so what you will do you will delete this line dim k we will not write this line within any subroutine because when you write any you know define any variable within the subroutine within the macro then that you know the variable uh, stays there as long as that macro is running as you can see the moment i try to you know uh, jump onto the macro b it give given me the error and the error is that the k is not defined right because k is meant only for this sub a but what if we want to carry forward it so when we want to carry forward it from one macro to the another macro that means it should be recognized by all the macros within that module right now i'm on the module 3 so guys what you need to do is you need to declare this on the top and press enter okay a line will be inserted before you're the first macro any macro you're writing doesn't really matter just after this option explicit right so this is what exactly you need to write dim k as integer now when you do that let us see let me run the macro there we go now interestingly you see that you don't see here the j does that mean it is not created the vb has not captured well it's not possible then where is it you got to click on the plus sign you see that it's coming here in a different way why because now it says that it is going to be applicable to all the macros that's why k is written you know in the different slot i and j are coming in the different because i and j are still local variables but the k you have made it the public variable so now when i will run it you see that you got the k15 now we are going to go on the macro b and you see that there is no error coming first of all that's a beautiful thing if you again click here plus and you see that k is still 15 that's really great right i and j are not visible that's fine because they were the local variables we have the k which is called the public variable because on declaring it on the top we made it public now what happens when you run this r is already 10 which is a local variable for the b but this k you can see i hover my cell here and i get to see the value this is fantastic so you can actually carry forward the values right not in, not in just this macro guys any macro if you write it with you know in this module 3 i'm writing in the module 3 it will work so you understand whenever you want to carry forward the things you declare it right and they are very important concepts guys they are very important and they make your life so easy when you work on the project 
Now, what about the global variable? Let's talk about the global. Now, global is that if you want to access it from a different module, then what will you do? Now, for example, I have declared this dim k as integer. Uh, let me go to a new module. Let's create a new module, module 4. Now, let's say, let me write here, I'm a dummy macro. And uh, here also, I declare one variable, let a u as integer. And uh, there is a more variable v as integer. Okay. So, what we do is we say that u plus k, we want to use that k value, the value which is in the module 3, which is this 10 plus 5, 15. So, I want to show you that what happens when you're going to access it from the different module. Now, we are not in the same module. That's a difference, right? So, we I give it a value u equals to let's say 10 or maybe 100. So we have got the value of the 100 and this 100 should be added this k which is 15 which is in the module 3. So let, let us see how we can do that right. So this macro is a. So I have to call that macro because otherwise I will not be able to capture this k because we will have to go there right. And once we are on that macro we can go through the all the variables which exist there. So now let us run this. Let me run this right. The moment I press F8, you see, again, you get to see the same error, guys. Variable not defined. Now, the question is, I'm going to ask VBA, well, why are you giving me this error, right? Why variable not defined? I have defined it. Then the VBA would return, you know, asking me a question. So, where have you defined it? Show me. Okay. So, I would say that I have actually shared it in this macro where I have written dimk as integer. And the VBA would of course say that, well, if you have declared it on the top, that doesn't make it a global variable. It's a public variable. It cannot be accessed from the different module, though it can be accessed within the module with, from the different, different subroutines. But you are now the module 4 and from the module 4, I can't take that value. So what is the solution? The solution is if you want to access it from different module, change the dim word to the global. And there we go. I'm going to change this to the global. All right. Now, let me check, let me come back and let me run the this macro. Let me press F8 step by step. This is how we run and there is no error. Very nice. When you click on the plus sign, you get to see here uh, U and V, right? So, we have just seen here U and V, that's it. Now, we got the U and uh, it says call A. So, it will go in the call A. So, let's see, I'm on the module 4. See, this is very interesting, guys. I press F8 and your module is automatically shuffled. You are on the module 3 now. Once you are on module 3, you will have your, all your values coming here. Now, you see that i is there. The k, the k is also going to become, the k is 15, right? So, k is coming here 15. Perfect. Now, it will go in the call b. Well, I don't need that. I can comment this out. But let it be. I mean, because it is written. So, I want don't want to change it. So, it goes quickly on the k, uh, b as well. Fine. Now, once it, you know, comes come, come back to its the original this this actually a macro it will jump back to the module 4 so if i press f8 you see that i'm back on the module 4 now here i have my k as 15 you see that the value is not destroyed guys it is still maintained right so now we're going to have a sum of what 100 plus 15 and you have your v as 115 so guys these are the three things you need to remember right one is a local variable which will run only as you know till the time your macro is running and the moment you cross the enter the mac this local variable is going to completely wiped off from your memory it will not be treated as a your local variable i mean it will be destroyed public variable we use when we, when within the module you want to access it you want to carry forward that value you want to use that value again and again in the different different subroutines in the different different macros but with the condition that they all are in the same module. Global means that it can be accessed from any module, from any module, but within the workbook, not any other's workbook module. Please understand. Okay. Right now, it can be accessed from any module because these all modules belongs to a workbook, a project which has a name called automating underscore mailers dot. If I open any other workbook, for example, let me open this book one, a new workbook and I go back to the visual basic. Now you see that you also have here book one. So in the book one also, if I let's say insert any module and you are trying to access that, 
it's not possible there are ways of doing that you can do that but not like this right so that this uh, k is going to be a global variable only for this project or in other words simple words you can say only for this workbook where you have actually written that code right so i hope that makes sense guys and uh, if you have watched this channel for the first time then i would say that please enjoy all the videos the basic intermediate advanced level of the videos we have all the videos for you for on on every category in fact you can see these are all the different different playlists please subscribe to the channel because if you subscribe then definitely you know i will be feeling more energetic and i will be feeling yes we are heading towards the right direction and i'm gonna upload exciting very fantastic st you know stuff uh, every day so thank you so much for watching and uh, i will be back with some more conceptual videos very soon till then you take care of yourself and have a very happy learning guys bye bye